Hello and Happy New Year from Tea Cozy Folk. It's a new year. Have you got a New Year's resolution? I have. I want to enjoy knitting more, if that's possible. Anyway, I wanted to kick off the new year with the new Simply Knitting magazine. Look, did you get it? It came out, oh, I think it came out on the 30th of December, but it's for January. Anyway, I've got a tea cozy in it, so I wanted to show you that. And here it is. Ta -da! It was inspired by Alice in Wonderland and it's um, painting the white roses red. You know where they, they've planted the wrong coloured rose bushes? They've planted white rose bushes and the Queen, she doesn't like white, she wants red. So the Queen of Hearts, they're painting them before she discovers because she'll want to chop everybody's heads off. So that is the Tea Cozy Knitting Pattern that's in this month's Simply Knitting magazine. Also in this Simply Knitting magazine is a competition to win a calendar, yay! So if you want to win one of these lovely calendars, all you need to do is pop along and enter. I'll put the link down below so you can go and enter the competition and maybe you can win. And also, if you check out the back of the magazine, it shows you what's gonna be in the next issue. And I don't know if you can see, ooh, zoom right in, there's um, a whale hot water bottle cover that was designed by Tea Cozy Folk. So that's in there too. So check it out and make sure you get it next month. That'll be next month. Just before Christmas, I released the Tree Bringer Tea Cozy and I didn't manage to show him to you. So I thought I'd give you a quick whiz round now. Look, there he is with his Christmas tree and his little squirrel. His little squirrel's really cute and it's all knitted in one bit his body and his arms and his ears. So that's really quick and easy. And then he's got a lovely fluffy tail and he's got his hood up and he's got his little mittens and they're um, embroidered on the top to put that little pattern on. So you could put any pattern on you like. But he's the Christmas tree bringer. So I wanted to show you him. And released today is the Springer Spaniel Tea Cozy. Now, I did think he could also be for Christmas because he's got a sock in his mouth and it could easily be a Christmas stocking. You could even put um, a candy cane in there. That looked really sweet. But it is a cute puppy and he looks so sad. And he's got lovely long ears. There's a help video for the loopy pattern on his ears. I'll put that in the link below so it's easy to find. And Oh, I do loopy on his tail as well. So he's sitting down with his sock. I think he looks sad. I think he's going to get told off for stealing socks. It's horrible when you end up with a drawer full of odd socks, isn't it? So that's the Cocker Spaniel. No, he's a Springer Spaniel. Springer Spaniel Tea Cozy. And he was released today. So you can go along and have a look. I'll put the link down below and you can go and have a look at him, see the photos. Talking of socks, I've got a sock update. Woo, I finished it. The trouble is, got to knit another one, but I finished the first one. Woo! So that's good. So I can start the new year with a new sock. I just wanted to show you, really, just to show you that, because if you remember, I'd lost my mojo and I just did a couple of rows, well, rounds, every day until the sock got finished. And it finished and it worked. So that's good. So whoever you lose your mojo, just set a little target of a couple of rows a day until your mojo comes back. Top tip. On the run up to Christmas, I was asked to design a bespoke tea cozy for a lady's mum and dad who have just bought a motorhome and she wanted a large size tea cozy. So here it is. And it's a lovely tea cozy. It's got a motorhome on. It's not a VW camper van. It's a, I don't know what make it is, but it's a motorhome. So, and um, there's a little road going all the way around the teapot and little flowers dotted by little wild flowers. And look, there's a couple on the top. Now uh, they could be, I don't know, two women, they could be two men, you know, anything you like really. It just tells you the pattern for long hair and short hair, but then they're knitted up the same. So you could do anybody you liked. But it's a lovely tea cozy to bespoke for somebody. 
And this pattern will be coming out, be launched next Thursday, so I, on the 13th of January. So you'll be able to get that soon. But this is a large size teapot. So it holds, oh, I can't remember. I think it's 10 cups. So it's bigger than the usual size. Been working on a tea cozy design of Alfred the Great. Now he was the first Saxon king and, um, and he had to fight the Vikings. And um, there was a story where he had to flee the Vikings and he hid in a peasant's house. And the peasant woman nipped out while he was there and she said, keep an eye on my cakes. And he didn't keep an eye on the cakes because he was worried about the Vikings and he burned the cakes. So this is his tray of burnt cakes. I think the moral of the tale is, is keep an eye on what's going on immediately and let the big stuff battle on outside or something. Anyway, this is Alfred the Great. Don't have him on Bake Off because he burns the cakes. But he will be out soon. I've got to, um, I'm just checking the pattern, making sure the pattern works, what I wrote down. And then that will be launched later on in January. I'll let you know when. If you join the newsletter, I'll send out a little newsletter saying that it's available. So another little project I've been working on is this little rabbit. Now it's Chinese New Year of the rabbit this year. And, um, and I thought it would be nice to make a little rabbit tea cosy to celebrate the Chinese New Year. And he's a little colourful rabbit, he's stylized. he's not trying to look real but he's got his big feet sticking up and he's holding a little Chinese lantern. And I'm going to embroider his eye on, look, that's the plan, and there his ears. And um, it's for a mini sized teapot because, you know, if you're born in the year of the rabbit, you don't want to share your teapot with everybody else, do you? They might be born in a different year. So it's a personal one, just for one person. But the other thing that I thought was really cool about it is Easter's not far away. And if you take the Chinese lantern away, he could easily be an Easter bunny, couldn't he? And you could perhaps knit him an Easter egg to hold instead. But that's what I'm working on at the minute. And I need to get my skates on because the Chinese New Year is the 22nd of January. So that's, well, I'm aiming before that really, because you need to get your hands on the pattern and knit it yourselves, don't you? So that's the goal before the 22nd of January. So watch this space and see if I do it. <laughs> but that's what I've been working on anyway, over Christmas and during December. It was a quieter month, I thought, because of, you know, with Christmas and all the celebrations and time off. And, but actually, when I gathered things together, I was quite gobsmacked at how much I got to show you. So, you know, there's quite a lot. So I have been busy, really. So I don't know what I'm going to show you next month. I suppose I'll have my little rabbit that I finished and Alfred will be finished. And I've got another idea for another tea cozy I'd like to work on. And of course, I'll be able to show you the hot water bottle cover there. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely January and I hope you get through it all right. It's a long month. Just keep knitting. That's my advice. Do lots of enjoyable knitting and January will fly by and we'll be into February. So you take care. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.